What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Shea Baby, and today I'm coming back at you with another video. Finally, it's been like, it's been like, it's been like, it's been like seven months, seven, eight months, and I miss you guys. I really do. I really miss you guys. You know what I should like make a little segment called Wine and React because a lot of the time when I react, I got a little wine next to me. So I'm sipping on some double XL peach and pineapple. I mix pineapple and the peach together. It's real good. We we'll just do a little sippy sip here and there. But anyways, today I'm going to be reacting to um this case that is going on about this young lady who um was a Walmart employee. She was found unalived in um the Walmart oven. I don't know how that happened, but this this is crazy. This is a crazy case, y'all. And um, let's get right into it. Um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to play this video, and I'm going to find other videos that connect to it, see if I can get more information about it. Um, all I've heard is... Yeah, all I've heard is, let me move myself over here. But all I heard was that her mother found her in, in the oven. And I don't know how. I don't know. Let's get into it, guys. Let, let me just shut up and get right, right into it. Come on. Candles flicker at this growing makeshift memorial outside the Walmart at the center of this unimaginable tragedy where a 19-year-old employee was found dead Saturday inside a store bakery's oven. It's a nightmare. Like, I feel sorry for the family, the co-workers. It's very shocking. It's very sad. She's been identified by members of the sick community here as Gorsimran Kaur. She recently came to Canada with her mother from the UK. Balder Singh from the Maritime Sick Society spoke... Honestly, this is so sad. I'm not going to lie, this is very sad because she's so young. And as someone that I used to work at Walmart at one point, my family, some of my family members worked at Walmart. That could have been anybody. Like, I'm so sorry. With Gorsimran's mother and no, says he's now working to bring her father to Canada too. Uh, if the husband comes here, that will be a really good thing for the family. The Walmart was still open Saturday when a 911 call was made around 9.20 p.m. The Sixth Society says Kaur's mother also works at the store and had been frantically looking for her daughter. Gorsimran apparently hadn't been seen. Okay, now that makes sense. Because at first, a lot of people were saying, oh, what if her mother pushed her in there, like in an oven, or how did she uh, figure to check the oven? But it makes sense now that she also works there. So that clears some things up, but it's still suspicious how she end up in that oven. And if anyone works at Walmart knows um, that in order to close the oven, you need to push it closed. You can't, it don't close automatically on its own because it's made like that on purpose so people won't get trapped in it. And either way, you can't get trapped in there because there is a handle. I'm, I'm, I'm going to find the video. I'm going to find the video seen for several hours and ultimately it was her mother who made the terrible discovery when she noticed that uh, her phone is not responding after a while she found her body in that oven and that's really sad just how could this have happened police have only confirmed the young woman was in a walk-in bakery oven the kind often used in large grocery and retail stores. Police are calling this a very complex investigation and are also warning members of the public not to share speculation on social media. Just be patient with our investigation and let us do our job. The story now making headlines around the world and on social media. Fundraising for the family has surpassed its goal in less than 24 hours. Walmart says employees are receiving psychological support and those who'd been scheduled to work are getting paid while the store remains closed. Singh, like many learning about this terrible story, doesn't know how Kaur's mother will ever recover. Heidi Petrochik, Global News, Halifax. Yo, this is so sad. This is so sad. Okay, 
So this woman right here, she proves why it is impossible for the Walmart oven doors, I mean, yeah, for the Walmart oven doors to close on its own. She's going to prove it right here, y'all, and just take a look, take a look. Okay, so ever since I heard about that girl who died in the oven at Walmart, I've worked here nine years with the same oven that they're claiming that she was locked into by herself. Okay, these ovens are so hard to shut from the outside, you have to push them. I'll show you. stores over the eight years there are stores where they don't even latch you have to hold it shut while it bakes for 30 minutes there are stores where it pops open you have to shut it pops open shut it pops open shut it there is no way that this girl locked herself into one of these ovens while cleaning it no way possible there's no right that's exactly what i'm saying that's exactly what i am saying they need to investigate they need to pull up the cameras because somebody locked her in there. Somebody locked her in there. I don't know what time of the day it was, if it was closed or not. But, like, somebody locked her in there. And they need to investigate thoroughly because this is not fair. She needs justice. No way possible. Let me just show you the emergency button. Pops the door open. Pops the door open. In my opinion, there's no way she did that on her own. Y'all see, right? Y'all see? All right, y'all, so I'm going to stop the video right here. I'm going to catch y'all in the next video. Um, I just want to give my prayers out to her family. Rest in peace. No one deserves that. And if someone did something to her, they deserve nothing but hell. And, yeah, I, I'm just, I'm just baffled because that could have been anybody. But thank you guys for watching this video. I'm going to catch you on the next video. Bye.